Good morning, Father Jeff Hinnon here from St. Michael Catholic Community at Travis Air Force Base. And with a question for you, why is it so hard to turn the other cheek? Why is it so hard to turn the other cheek? And I'm not talking about like this. What I mean is the whole understanding of what Jesus is speaking about. Let me read this to you just so you get an idea of what I'm saying. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, offer no resistance to one who is evil. When someone strikes you on your right cheek, turn the same other one to him as well. If anyone wants to go to law with you over your shirt, hand him your cloak as well. Should anyone press you into service for one mile, go with him for two miles. Give to the one who asks of you, and do not turn your back on the one who wants to borrow. Jesus is saying essentially, don't fight. Don't fight evil. Don't confront evil. And why does he say that? Why does he say to turn the other cheek? Uh, in other words, if somebody were to slap you on one cheek, offer him the other as well. Well, the church, early church fathers, they said, whenever you, re whenever you turn the other cheek, you are taking their hate and the energy on yourself like Christ did on the cross. We absorb, we receive other people's anger, response, and things like that. If we take this, we have a choice. We can either out, lash it out onto somebody else, just as it was done with us. You know, the old saying of going home and kicking the dog because you can't do anything else, the poor dog. Or we can choose to let God take it. And that's a challenge. But why is it so difficult? Why is it so difficult to turn the other cheek, to do good to those who do evil to you? I think part of it is pride. And I also think part of it is we want to be justified. We want justice. And it's hard to be mistreated in work and this and that and the other thing. And sometimes we do have to speak out. That's what Black Lives Matter is about. This whole understanding of seeing an injustice, a social injustice that needs to be addressed, not necessarily just for me individually, but for other people. So there are times to step out and, and, and address things. And I always tell children or kids, if you're being bullied in school, you need to stand up. You need to go tell your parents. And the reason for this is because these things must stop. But there are times where if somebody says something to slight you or... Uh, in unsympathetic or unkind, sometimes what we do again is we absorb that and we don't let it stop us. But ultimately, this is what we do. We say to ourselves, we don't need to win. We don't need to always come out on top. We don't need to give back to somebody what they give to us. Usually, or quite often, our philosophy is this. If they slap you on one cheek, you slap them on the other. But Jesus says instead, love your enemies. Convert them by your kindness, by your goodness. And don't expect, this is really critical, I believe, for this whole understanding. Don't expect to be vindicated in this life. It's quite often it doesn't happen. But that doesn't mean we have to live as if we're defeated. It does not mean that we are now below somebody else. What it means is we look them in the face and we say, you have no power over me. You may be above me as a supervisor or this or that or the other thing, but you have no power over me and you do not dictate who I am. Just because you say something doesn't mean it's true. What matters ultimately is what God thinks of me. And that's the only thing we truly care about is being faithful to God. Let's have a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we do offer ourselves to you as a living sacrifice. Give us the strength and the patience and love to love those who are not always kind to us because we know that's what you have done for us. We make our prayer in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. God bless you, and I hope that you have a good day. Stay tuned for information regarding uh, reentry at the chapel, which is happening this Sunday, 21 June, 9 o'clock and 12 o'clock Masses. Talk to you soon. We'll see you soon.